Well, see, that's the thing. You go to the chiropractor, they crack your neck around a little bit, you know, so you feel better, and then it comes back. That's the thing. You see, everybody is looking for band-aids, but they're not understanding where the causation of the problems is coming from. Back in the days, I used to do band-aids as well. I would injure myself, and then I would go and find a way to heal it, and then I injure myself, find a way to heal it. There's a problem, I find a way to deal with it. And I'm always here doing patch-up work, dealing with the effects, but I didn't understand the causations of it. And this causation, if it was, if it was nice to look at, everybody would just recognize it. All right, got, got it. But here's the thing. Who has courage to go ahead and look at their own anger? Who has courage to go ahead and look inside and go, what am I angry about? What am I afraid of? What do I feel lack of inside here? That takes courage. It's not easy. Everybody can agree with it, but who's doing it? You see, the people that have the courage to be able to do that, those are the people that actually get past it. That's what we need to do, okay? We need to stop running away and trying to patch up problems when they happen. As let's look at the actual issue that's causing it all, okay? Our mind, the way our perception is of ourselves and other people in our life, what we feel we should do and what we feel we can't do, all of these things are creating problems on every level. And the physical problems that we experience in our body is just on one plane the physical plane. On the mental side, it's feeling stuck in our mind. It's feeling trapped, it's feeling stressed. Physical, pains, pressure. Emotional, AKA energy, is the emotions. You know, anxiety and sadness and loneliness and anger and all this stuff. Chemical, you got low dopamine, got low mel, you know, you got these low serotonin levels. You know, you got all this stuff. So it's not that it's one problem or the other. They're all issues. But the fundamental one, the base one is the mind. But we can't, it's very difficult to just solve it from the mind itself without addressing any of the others. Because then what we're doing is we're trying to solve, we're trying to fix our body by only changing our mind. Now, we can, we can do that, absolutely. Our mind is that powerful. But how much mind training has a person have to be able to change their physical makeup in their body? It can be done, absolutely. And people do it every day. But it's not an easy thing to do. We've been developed to have weak minds. This is not talked about in schools. There's a purpose for that. And so now when we need to go and change things and we just only use our mind, it's going uphill. We need to go and utilize the other tools as well, okay? And one of the other aspects is our body. One of the other aspects is our emotions. So what do we do with our body? We learn how to be able to let go of tension so we can let that part open we can get rid of the tension, we can get rid of the tightness. We can let the circulation of blood and energy allow it to flow. What do we do on the emotional side? We learn how to be able to feel so we can release the emotions. What do we do on the chemical side? We change our diets, we eat better foods. We also do movements which stimulates the production of the chemicals that make us healthy. So we don't just do it on one level, we do it on every level. So this way we have, we increase the opportunity to be able to get stronger, to get better, to get past all these things.